I'd like to bring a question every time. I have a different question this time. That's a really interesting question, um, but but it's a group where I'd like to just explore things together and open up ideas that I have and help uh, all of you as well learn what it means to contemplate, like like really develop the skill of contemplation. You know, in the in the Dharma, we say there's the three wisdoms. This is how we incorporate, we integrate the Dharma in into our being, the contemplation on hearing. The, the, I mean, the the wisdom. Sorry, the three wisdoms, the three prajnas, the prajna of hearing, the Dharma, and and allowing it to touch us, and then the 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 wisdom of uh, 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 contemplation, and the wisdom of meditation. And I always feel uh, uh, for most students, the wisdom of contemplation is uh, the weakest for people. That they always say, I'm not sure how to contemplate, you know? And I think contemplation begins when you start to first question your assumptions about something. Like, so I bring up the notion of sacred. We didn't, you know, generally, well, we haven't looked into that topic yet. So it's an opportunity to look into, well, what do we even mean by sacred? What does sacred mean to us? What are, what are our experiences in our life of what is sacred? Um, and what does our culture teach us about sacredness? Um, maybe there's some things about our culture that we don't appreciate about the way it's taught us about sacredness. And maybe there's some things about our culture that we really actually could come to appreciate about sacredness. For example, um, I found it interesting last time when Leah said um, that it has a sense of obligation. And when we kind of looked then into what it means to feel the sense of obligation, maybe obligation comes because from a cultural point of view, there's something very important in there something essential about being human. I just found that was very interesting, the way that unfolded. Hi, Camila. Good morning. <laughs> um, so I, I wanted to uh, bring up a, 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 a topic this morning, and I thought we could talk about it. And first, I'm going to read something from the book of, of my teacher, Zigar Kong from Michi, just a little passage that reminds me of this. Um, but the, the topic today is, what does it mean to be yourself? 